Hi guys, welcome back to Model Fix. My name is Dan, and today we are doing a few fixes and a few mods. Ooh. All right, so the Corolla is due for an MRT. I mean, I it's it's not due for an MRT, but I thought I'd book it in early and just sort out any issues that need sorting. And uh, as you may have already seen from the intro, there's quite a few things that do need sorting out. So in this video, I'm going to try and fix as much as I can to get it sort of presentable for the MOT and just sort out a few crappy things on the car. Hope you enjoy the episode. First things I want to do on the car is an oil change. The oil on it didn't look great, but more importantly, I don't really know the history of this car that well. The last service was some time ago, so I'm just going to stick some nice juicy castrol in there, new filter, and then I'll be happy. Oil is on its way out. It wasn't actually that bad. Let me show you on the dipstick. That's the dipstick there. Not so bad. Still brownish, not horribly black and thick, so that's good. So I'm just going to let it all drain out and then new stuff in. I thought I'd give you guys a quick nosy down here. There's the oil filter. And there's a sump nut, 14 mil sump nut. It's a bit different to the MR2, obviously the totally different engine arrangement. But very similar, so exactly the same oil filter, in fact the same part number, OCT17 in Marley. Alright, so that's the oil that came out. All those little bits are just uh, air bubbles, so nothing to worry about here. No metal particles or anything dodgy. And that there now is up to the second dot as you can see. So I'm happy with that now. All change is done. Next, the mirror. So this mirror is hanging. And just like that, I think I've fixed it. There's a bit of movement there. So I'm not 100% sure, but it did clip in both sides and the white thing located. All right, seems to be all right. I don't think it's gonna come out. It seems pretty firm in the hole. And that's the main thing, I think. There we go. That's that. As long as it doesn't hang out of the hole like it did before. That's the main thing. So that's fixed. Tick. Okay, I've just paired to the JVC head unit we've got here. It's a Bluetooth. It's got USB, la di da di da. I can't play any music due to copyright, but it works very well. So I'm just going to get a, a nice surround for that and a mic and a button if I can find one. Otherwise, yeah, all good. Not going to do anything else to that. Next thing is these beautiful seats. I think I might have found some Celica seats for it, leather ones. So these might be going and they might be coming. It depends if it all changes over all right but we'll cross that bridge once i've actually got the seats look at the lovely stains on that beautiful <laughs> okay so maybe the stereo isn't as good as we expected just pressing some buttons here and the whole thing just switched off so i'm gonna have to pull that out and investigate a little bit and i was actually thinking i could just put a screen in here that would be quite nice but that's for a later date. We've got more important things to do first. Just noticed something else. There's something missing here. I think it's a flap. So, yeah, might need to get one of those. Don't know where I'll get one of those from, but not urgent for now. Okay, the main things that I need doing for today. I need to change the wheels over, because although the fronts are okay, they've got decent tread on them. I'm not sure if the rears are good for MOT, so I'll we'll have to swap these wheels over. The other thing we've got to do is uh, take the yellowness of the headlights, so I'll restore them. No stranger to that process, so I'll do that. Um, and then just, well, I think I'll give the car a wash after the wheels and then headlights, because you can't really wash the car after you've done the headlights.
All right, whilst uh, changing the wheels, I thought I'd have a closer look at the uh, brake pads. And as you can see, there's plenty of meat in those. I think they're Mintex items. And then look at these coilovers. Looks like it might be leaking, but I'll clean it up and see how it goes. It's not terrible, the suspension. It actually drives very well. So uh, let's see. Overall, not bad under here. Anyway, let's get on with it. Alright then guys, next job, headlights, the headlights are a little bit on the yellow side so I'm just going to clean them up, make them nice and clear and bright for MOT tomorrow. Okay, so I've just given them a clean up with a bit of body prep shampoo and water and now I'm just going to buzz them down. I've done a headlight restoration video before so I'm just going to time lapse this and if you're interested click the link above, hopefully that works, or down below um, or just check through my other videos and I've got headlight restoration on the cube I believe so watch that. Lights are gleaming once again. I'm still going to give it a final stage polish with another softer sponge, but uh, yeah, day and night difference, or night and day even, whatever you prefer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hit this with the wall pad, see if it can make any difference or if it's too far gone. If we can, then I might hit it another day properly, but I'll give it a go. I'm not very hopeful because it looks like the lacquer's gone, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. Look at the gunk that's come off that. I mean, it needs a full decontamination, really. I haven't washed it or anything, so... I'm gonna have to wash this <laughs> all pad now, but looks like it's done something. Let's have a look. Okay, well, 
It probably looks better on the camera than it is in real life. It was like that before, wasn't it? Um, so it's made a massive difference, but there's just not enough lacquer on it. It's very flat, I think. I might machine polish it anyway, make it look a little bit more decent. But for now, let's stick with the headlights. Let's finish them off and I'll revisit that another day. But what a difference, eh? Look at that. Beautiful. And that's the headlights all done. Not too shabby if I say so myself. Right, off to the MLT. Alright guys, one thing that's been bugging me for a long time is this steering wheel. I'm gonna change it eventually, but this bit here is very annoying. So I'm gonna cut it out. I'm just gonna cut it from here, take all the stitching off, or just make an incision there. Uh, same with that side and then just rip it all off and then it'll be it's already been done to this part as you can see so yeah let's do that right that's all been taken off and it looks a lot better wouldn't you agree there you go all done now MOT time all right guys I hope you enjoyed that episode I hope you got something out of it as I mentioned earlier, I've got a headlight restoration video which I did on the Cube, so uh, go and have a look at that if you're interested in how I did that. The wheels are rotor slip streams, very nice wheels for this car. They were actually on the Cube and I thought the purple wheels suit the Cube better and this car deserved some nicer wheels, so this got the rotors. I'll take some nicer pictures of it and do a little bit more of a nicer sort of walk around the car at some point, but uh, I want to get it to where I want to get it first before I do that so anyway i hope you liked the little bits and bobs that i did look out for future videos i have done at the stereo install which is pretty cool and uh, something else very interesting that i'm in the process of doing is fitting uh, silica seats in this corolla and i'm pretty much there I've also done quite a lot of mechanical work on the car now after MOT due to advisories etc. If you've got a Corolla or a T-Sport or you're just interested in what I'm doing, um, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.